Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you wish to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. There once was a lad, a wee little tad, whose name was Jonathan Thomas, who got into a fix when he was six because he kept a promise. You see, he went to the moon one night and got himself in a terrible fright. He was chasing Guz, because Guz ran away. Guz was his teddy bear, who thought it would pay to chase two elephants up to the moon, and he ran and ran and got there soon. And he didn't get cold in spite of the frost, but what he did do was to get himself lost. Poor Jonathan Thomas nearly broke his heart, because he and Guz had never been apart. And he looked and looked, but all in vain. And when he started for home again, he knocked at a door which wasn't there before, and when it was answered more sooner than soon, the man who answered was the man in the moon, who invited him in and said to him, I'll give you breakfast if you like, for you must be hungry after such a long hike. And then, quick as a wink, what do you think? Crash, bang, bing, boom, till all the people were filled with gloom. And I'll bet you can't guess what the reason was. The Squeebobliums had kidnapped Santa Claus. How the bells rang out, how the people did shout, for it was all so very sad. And then, much to his shame, they said he was to blame. By he, I mean Jonathan Thomas. Why, they called him a spy and a terrible guy, and they made him faithfully promise to obey all the laws and find Santa Claus, which is very hard to do, till the man in the moon said, I'll go too. And so off they went, without baggage or tent, not walking, but riding, of course, and with never a thought of ever getting caught. They went through the land of Rimplestitch, and their trouble began. No matter how they ran, they were always pursued by a witch. But my goodness gracious, my talk is so spacious, and my word's enough for ten men. So please, don't you worry, for here is the story. It's all ready to begin again. Well, well, you old frightful old thing. <laughs> what do you say? You wicked old man in the moon, the day will come soon when you'll change your tune, for I'll fix up your tricks with a bag of my own, and then, ha-ha! <laughs> I'm giving you fair warning, Mrs. Witch. You'd better leave us alone if you know what's good as indeed you should. That a boy, Chief. Hacha cha cha Tell her a thing or two. Uh, you stay out of this, you awful horse, or I'll stop your words right at their source. And now, I'll tell you a thing or two. I'd be mighty careful if I were you. Oh, yeah. And I wouldn't laugh, or you'll raise my wrath, and then I'll work my magic. And you'll probably heard that I keep my word, and my tricks are very tragic. Yes, what do you want of us, Mrs. Witch? Ten minutes ago, I could plainly see there wasn't just two of you, but one, two, three. To give you harm would bring me no joy, for what I want... Is that little boy? No, 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 a thousand times no. And I say yes. And you may well guess that I'll keep my promise. For it's very true that I'll keep haunting you till you give me Jonathan Thomas. So mumble the stick, and you'd better be quick, and tell me where he's at, or I'll get even with you with my witch's brew, which is mixed by a great black cat. You've gone too far, Mrs. Witch, for I know what to do with you, and by Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> I think I'll do it. Go on, Chief. Give him the works. Make it stupendous and colossal. I'm going to tweak your nose, Mrs. Witch. Oh, oh, don't you dare. Or you'll give me a scare that'll be the death of me. Uh oh, so you didn't know that I knew the secret of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> One tweak and it'll be the end of you, Mrs. Witch. Oh, please, I beg on bended knees. Do not tweak my nose, for I can't bear such wear and tear. Oh, please, sir, spare my nose. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Witch, <laughs> but I warn you. And now I'm going to tweak your nose like that. Oh. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, was that a tweak. Oh, was that a tweak. She won't recover for at least a week. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Ha -cha 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 -cha. I'm telling you, this day you rule, and believe you me, just wait and see. I'm going to kick a dead remark, and when I kicks... I hits the mark. Ha, cha, cha. Watch this. <laughs> and that's from me to you, from one old nag to another old hag. Well, Gorgonzola, that was just beautiful.
beautiful. That was stupendous. Gigantic, colossal. That's what. Ha, ta, ta, ta. Well, all right, Jonathan Thomas. You can take off your invisible hat now. The witch is gone. <laughs> Come on, Jonathan Thomas. Where are you? Where are you? Here I am. Right here, sir, if you please. My goodness gracious and Jiminy Cricket, so you are. I've been sitting here on this rock all the time. Couldn't you see me? Of course not. You had your invisible hat on. Couldn't nobody see me? Of course he could if he was here, but he's not. He's there. But what happened to the three dwarfs? Where'd they go? I don't know. I'm Sneasel. I'm Weasel. I'm Beelzebub. Is the witch gone? Of course she's gone. <laughs> I tweaked her nose. Boom, 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 the witch is gone, the wicked old witch is gone. And we are happy and quite slept happy because the wicked old witch is gone. Bong, bong, bong. And that's our song. The wicked old witch is gone. I'm glad the wicked old witch is gone, too. We're grateful to you. And to prove it, too, we'll give you a lift. And a very great gift. To take on your way. It's a magic spell. To serve you well. And all you have to say is... is Hon, squee, non, squee, giggly, bay. That's a beautiful word. What does it mean? When trouble is double. All you have to say is... is Hon, squee, non, squee, giggly, bay. And now we must sigh... And wish you goodbye. And wish you on your way. But don't forget the magic word. On screen, on screen, giggly bay. Oh, look at them go. Sneasel, weasel, and Beezlebob. Ah, it's stupendous. It's colossal. It's gigantic. What does that word mean, if you please, Mr. Man in the Moon? Punch, queen, punch. My goodness, be quiet, Jonathan Thomas. We are only supposed to say the word when we're in double trouble. Oh. Oh, what did you say? I just said, oh. Oh, oh. Well, come on, everyone. We've got to be going before it starts snowing. Come on, Jonathan Thomas. Yes, sir. Come on, Martin Zola. I'm right with you, Chief. It's moida. That's what it is. Nothing but confusion. Oh, hush your face and get up, you. Come on. Oh, we're off, off to the land of Squeak Bubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll bubble. We'll never come back till we've taken the whack at the terrible land of Squeak Bubble. We must hurry because we must find Santa Claus, or there'll be no Christmas this year. And things will be sad and much more will be bad and people will cry. Oh, dear. So oh, we're, we're off, off to the land of Squeak Bubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll bubble. We'll never, never come, come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squid Bubble. We're off to the land of Squid Bubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll hobble. We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squid Bubble. Oh, Mr. Mr. Man in the Moon, please, sir. Could maybe I ask you a question? Why, sure, certainly, and of course. What is it? What's that funny sound? Uh, oh, oh, you mean that sound? Why, that's the merry-go-round river. Yes, sirree. We're almost there. Come on, here. Giddy up, Gorgonzola, giddy up. Oh, it's moida, that's what it is. Nothing but back braiding moida. Whoa, whoa, Gorgonzola, whoa, whoa. We have arrived. Oh, is that a merry-go-round river? That's it, Jonathan Thomas. And I don't know how we're going to get across. Do you think that you could swim it, Gorgonzola? Ah, it's revolting, that's what it is. Nothing but plain horrible. What are we going to do? Well, I don't know. We'll drown if we try to cross that river. It's full of whirligig pool, yes, sir? And crocodile eaters. Oh, my goodness. Nothing but moida. Now, look, it's starting to snow. Good gracious. A feather storm. Oh, look, Mr. Man in the Moon. This snow isn't snow at all. It's, it's feathers. Oh, and they tickle my nose. Oh, gee. It's, it's, it's gruesome. You're all over me. I'm telling you, it's nothing but... It's nothing but... Oh, if you please, sir. What about that magic word the dwarfs 
Stephen. Jonathan Thomas, that is a scrumptious idea. Now is our chance to find out what happens when we say hand squin on squee squee or hand squee or squee. You'd better say it for me, Jonathan Thomas. All right. Gracious, I hope this isn't a trick. Are you ready? Uh-huh. All right, all together now. Hand squee on squee. Big ol' effect. Well, they've said the magic word, but what do you think will happen? Oh, my goodness. I can hardly wait to find out. So we mustn't miss the story of what happens to Jonathan Thomas next. (laughs) 